Well, then why did you go then? Why did you Netflix and chill? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Dear Life 101. And if this is your first time, well then, welcome. So yes, this is a different set because I am still in Spain. And with that being said, I apologize if the audio is a little off or the lighting sucks a little bit because I am using my phone. But the show must go on, so we are here. Now, I'm super excited for this video because a viewer, I have viewers, a viewer commented and asked for this video. I got a suggestion to do a relationship video as well as a few other suggestions. But let me tell you, this like suggestion could not come at a better time. You know, traveling, I'm trying to, you know, be in the moment and explore and be happy. But at the same time, I have a duty to put out a video every Wednesday. So I must and I will. And, you know, I was like, I don't, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I was like, bing, relationships, perfect. So, thank you for that. You have no idea how grateful I am. Um, as far as relationships, I don't really have too many like horror stories because, just because I don't, I think I, I really lucked out and I owe that to my parents, to, to my dad and my stepdad. They're both equally in my life and uh, they're both amazing men and they both treat me like a princess Therefore, any other man in my life better do the same. And if you're not, then skrrr, I need you to go all the way over there, swerve. Also, watching how, you know, my, my two fathers like treated my mom as well as other women, it's super important because your dad is your first example of a man. I know that everyone doesn't have like the same upbringing that I did. I know everyone's not dealt the same hand. With saying that, uh, that's why I do these videos like if that wasn't your childhood then I hope that you can watch this and like try to logically understand you know that's how you should be treated you deserve to be like loved and adored moving on with relationships a lot of my friends come to me for relationship advice and I feel like it all kind of stemmed from the same issues. I feel like they're trying, they're waiting for their partner to change or wanting to change their partner. When he drinks, you know, he, he does this or doesn't work or whatever the case may be. And it's kind of like, I feel like we're way too young to be trying to change anybody or to be waiting on anyone to change because I'm trying to figure myself out. Like I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to change from the better and I can't be changing you. But something else I always hear, we've been together three, five, six years. What is your point? There are like 15 plus marriages that have four kids involved and people are getting divorces. Now, if you're not coming with any baggage, if you're not married and you don't have kids, then why are you staying? Like, I don't care if it's been six years. Like time shouldn't be a concern, in my opinion. Now for the advice portion of this video, I like have everything like sectioned off. <laughs> date around, my goodness. Go date, go be, if you wanna have four dates a week, go have four dates a week, test the waters. All guys are like, oh no, I can't afford four dates a week. But side note, it doesn't have to be all that. You don't have to do like dinner. Like, Cause like really, I'm sure I have guy viewers too. Like take her to the park and get some ice cream and get to know her. Like just, I just wanna throw that out there very quickly. Just explore what's out there. There are billions of people in the world. So you do not need to be stuck on one. The end. Also, I totally suggest um, like writing down what you want in a relationship. Write down some characteristics. That way you know exactly what you're looking for. So if you get something besides that, you run. Go the other way because we don't have time for these things. As cliche as it sounds, date yourself. No, but seriously, like do it because I did it. I know a lot of people are actually like watching this video and thinking like, well, I'm just a relationship person. So I've heard it time and time again. I'm a relationship person, I'm a homebody, and I just like, I understand that. I wanna share coffee with someone, I wanna tell someone everything. I totally understand that. But, I mean, for me, I'd rather be lonely than miserable. 
that's it oh oh and my last thing i just want to add i hear so many females just angry at the dating game these days and i'm like skirt no i understand this is the advice for the guys right now don't come at me with oh you can come to my house or i'll come to your house no 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 do not invite me to your house like i don't know you you don't know me no one belongs in anyone's private settings like i don't know where it got lost in like culture or whatever but i've been hearing that men are acting fools just a damn fool it's a shame i would be so mad if someone told me to come to their house for our first date i don't know you so men please don't do that get together have like some more respect and females have some more respect for yourself than that don't go to his house and get mad when the night starts to get a little too touchy well then why did you go then why did you netflix and chill anyways so that was the end of my video i hope you enjoyed um i think this video is a little short but that's just because i have dinner plans mm. about to make my man take me out right now and oh 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 you guys i <laughs> i am at 30 subscribers now which means next week will be a story time and i'm super excited for that goal and who do i have to thank thanks mom no i'm just kidding no but seriously thank you mom like that's that's very sweet of you she's like so supportive like i'm just like oh on her little facebook and my mom gets like more comments and likes like on her facebook than i do and i'm just like first of all who are you number one but two seriously thank you and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh let's hit that subscribe button